There are two important features of Hypoxia where you'll spend most of your time. The first is the current playlist. This is your list of upcoming media. It can be accessed three different ways. By selecting Menu, Now Playing, using the Space key, and finally the right Convenience key. The second is the Media Browser. You can open it by selecting Menu, Media Browser. This is where you will browse your media and add files to your current playlist. Get started by importing files into Hypoxia. You can import single files, directories of files, or you can scan the whole SD card. After importing media files, you can access them using the media browser. Media files can be listed in a number of ways. At this point, you can choose to delve deeper into the category, or you can interact with the items that are listed. I think I'll play all songs from this artist by hitting Menu Play. As you can see, all the songs for that artist have been added to the current playlist. Alternatively, you can choose to add all of the artist's songs by selecting Menu, Add to Running Playlist. Or by clicking and holding the item until it blinks. This will come in handy when it's time to create a playlist. It allows you to remain in the media browser while at the same time adding tracks to the current playlist. You can use Menu Search to quickly locate a desired track. Searching will take you as close as possible to your entered keyword. Notice there are no tracks starting with P, so I'm given the next closest result. Once your current playlist is loaded with tracks, you can move them around using Menu Move. You can also highlight and select any track from the current playlist to play it. Once you have your desired tracks arranged to your liking, save it by selecting Menu, Save Playlist. You can later find that playlist using the media browser. Hypoxia is equipped with a full scanning engine, which will allow you to change the look and feel of the application to suit your own tastes. Skins can be downloaded from hypoxiaplayer.com. Simply place them in the skins folder under Hypoxia's root directory. Be sure to download the proper skin version for your device. After a skin is present in the skins folder, it is available for use. Navigate to Hypoxia's options where you can choose your new skin. When enabled, Hypoxia will alert you of all new email, PIN, and SMS messages right inside the application. At any time, you can choose the menu, Messages, or hit the M key to view your recent notifications. Streaming to the phone is a simple process. The first step is configuring the computer or device you would like to stream from. Please refer to the help files that accompany the software for proper setup and configuration. After your device is configured, you can browse its contents the same way you would browse media files right on your device.
The animated network icon in the top left corner of the screen indicates Hypoxia is receiving a list of your media. When all results have been received, the icon will stop animating. At any time during the listing process, you can continue browsing without having to wait for all the results. Once you're viewing the available media, you can either add tracks to the current playlist or simply play them. That's the basic usage of Hypoxia Media Player. There's plenty more for you to discover. Go to the Help section in the main menu or visit hypoxiaplayer.com to learn more. Now available on AppWorld.